Hi guys, welcome back to another Robocraft video with Shomofo and today um, I've got a bit of a special one for you. Uh, down here, Tay Swain has asked, could you make a tutorial on the Midge Mark V? And that's this lovely beast here. Um, if we have a look at this video, um, it actually started out as a T1 flyer. I was messing around and you can check that out on this video from about 28 minutes in to uh, 40 minutes is roughly uh, the kind of shape uh, that I built that I then upscaled into this fine craft. So let's have a go at building a Midge Mark V for Tay. Okay, there you go Tay. Let's see how we do. So, I'm going to start off in orange, as that's what it's going to be built in. And I'm going to throw this up nice and high so that I can get underneath if I need to and see what I'm doing. Now I know I'm going to need two blocks and a pilot seat, of course. And then from what I can remember, um, I'm going to need another two blocks and a helium and an L2 thruster and then I believe I need some of these guys That goes on there. Okay. Um, this should come out all the way along to the front, I believe. And then I think it's glass at the front. And some... Tetras. And that's it. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. We've got a little bit more work to do than that, I'm afraid. Um, I think this is just like that. And I believe we have some of these here and here okay now then let's see if that's right yeah that's looking good okay so that's the, the front section there and then what are we going to have on here? Well, underneath here we've got this fella. Now what SMG is that? That I believe is an L5. Yep, that's our L5. And I think we've just got one L5. Okay, so I'm going to need to buy one of those. And that's a top mount L5. Oh, that's just plonked on there at the front. Oops. And then let's see. Uh, from there, we're going to go... Let's just get rid of this. And this. And I'm just going to select a white cube. It's just a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. Okay. 
So let's just cut this away. So we can see what's in here. Right. Okay, so that comes up like that. Can we remember? <laughs> can we remember how this goes? Okay, so there's one of those. No, what we want is the... So there's one of those there. And I believe, is there another one of them? Does that go up like that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I think that looks right. Let's just check it. Yep, that looks right. Okay, so that comes up at one above. And that's in there. Okay. So let's stick an L4 on here. I believe that's correct. So let's do the same for the other side. Let's go one, two, pop you there. Oh, that's just one of those. one of those okay so there we go that's that I believe these come out two let me just check Yep, they come out too. And these were extended out so I could fit some weapons onto it. Okie doke. Now, and they also have weapons on the underneath. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so that one is also swapped for one of those. And that also comes out too. Oh. So we want one of those there. None of those left. Oh, you're making me spend RP on this stuff. Hope you appreciate this, Tay. See, is that the right block or have I done that too far back? No, it's two and then one of those. Okay. So it's actually this one that wants to be one of them. So, two back, pop you out there, 
they're going to come out too. And then have that. So that comes out too. And then that has that. Okay. And what have we got on here? Um, now, I've destroyed one of these. So, oh, pressing all the wrong buttons. Hardware. That's going to be these. The uh, L4s, I believe. So, let's see. If I, if I pop that there, and then get rid of that one, we should still have one. Yep. Yeah. One L4, so that's correct. They're L4s. Okay, so I think I need to buy <clears throat> three of those for five of those. Oh dear. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we're going to have one here, one here, one here, and one here, and then there's going to be another one, but we haven't built the part for that to go onto yet, so I'm just going to throw you down there. Okay, now then, let's sort out the bit of um, armor that's built up around these. So the bottom section just comes out like that on the front. So we're going to need one of you, and then one of you, okay, so that's the bottom piece sorted on the front. Now the top part is just the same. So at the front it is just the same on the top and the bottom. Okay. Right, that's smashing. Okay, now we need to do some work on the back part of this. So let's have a look at this underneath section. Now this is slightly different. It's stepped out and it comes around like that. Okay. Okay, so we've got those parts in. Now let's have a look at the tops. And this is just putting a bit of extra armor around the guns. And this is just the same as it is on the front. So we want you there, and you there. 
Oops, wrong way round. None of those cubes left. Oh my word. Um, making me spend all of my RP that I've been gaining for electro cubes, you fiend. We need a fair few of those, so I've just held down control to get 10 up. Cheers for the tip, backer. Okay. Right, so that's that done. Okay, looking lovely so far. Now we just need to extend this part out. Okay, so what have we got next? Coming back from the pilot seat, we're going to drop two cubes, a prism and a gun. Uh, this probably extends out further. I'm not sure how far, so I'm just going to throw these on here for the time being. So I've got something to build on. If they come out... I've confused myself now. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go back and have another look. Okay, so... Let's just actually um, take that wing out of the way so I can see what's going on because I'll need to see this bit of armor. And we can lose this and this for the time being. Now when you come to put these jets on and stuff and this armor you have to do it in a certain order otherwise it won't let you place the blocks. Right, so this is our bottom frame and let's kind of come out, let's get that bit sorted. So that's going to come down there and have that on it, so. Down here, we're going to want that. And then that. Okay. And then I think that well may be an inner there. Let's just check. Yep, then we're going to want an inner. And that forms up flush with that. So we'll want an inner there, and an inner there. One there. So these are a couple of tetras going in. Okay. Right. Now what do we have? I wish I'd stop pressing the wrong button. And then that comes out to and down to that. So, this is a couple deep. Right, okay. I think that's correct, and then if it is, that should fit there. Of course, it's on the floor over there, so there we go. <clears throat> so now we've got our last gun on.
Right, and then we should place our two jets. Now, these are T5s. And I don't believe I've got any T5s. So, once again, I've got one, but that's the one I've taken off. So, I need four of these. Oh, look at all this... Look at all this RP you're costing me, Tay. <laughs> Cheers, fella. Uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, let's have a look at where they're placed. Um, see, I can't actually place this back on here now. I'd need to take out... I'm not sure what's interfering with it. Is it just the jammer? that's interfering with it. I'm not going to take the, that off at the moment. We'll come to that. So I want to know where that is. Let's just see where these are placed. So if we have a look where that comes down to and then one back. Okay. Let's see if it makes sense on here. So Yep, so see, we can place one in there. And we can place one in there. I think it's just the jammer gets in the way. Now, this is going to come back at least to accommodate. Yep. That. Okay, and then I believe what we have is... Oh, gonna need loads of these, so. Let's hold control again by another. Oh, nearly. Hold control to get rid of all of those. Hold control and buy 10 of these. <laughs> okay. So, again, this is just helping pad out the armor a little bit, make it a bit thicker. These actually count as, as a whole cube's worth of armor, so, you know, but they take up a lot less space and you're able to fit them in. Okay. So, that's all looking good. Right, and this is where we start getting into the tail section. So that's a three. Oh, and we've got two twos on there, so let's sort that out. So we've got a two on either side of here. And then we need a three. And I haven't got a three. Fun times. And that goes... Oh, no, that's a two. Idiot. Let's select that. There you go. There's the three. Right, then we're going to need to build the tail section. Okay, so once again, let's come around. We can get in a bit easier over here. And see what we've got going on. So, from this last block... We come up, block it out from there, and then up two for the tail. Oh, I've just lost track. Did it go back one, or is it straight from there? Hope you guys are paying a lot more attention than I am. 
Yep, it comes straight up from there. Okay, and then that comes up too. One. Ah. That is probably one of those. Yep. Okay. A little bit tricky to see. Let's lose this jet. Are they further apart? Let's see. Right. On this section here from where where this cube is, we should have four twos. In fact, three twos and a one. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't pay attention again. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Right, from underneath the prism is where we start. Okay, so underneath here. One, two, three. And then a one. And then I've gone straight up now, is that right? Yep, that's correct. Into a square. Into a square and then back down. So, into a square, into a square. Is this further along? And that was the three. Wasn't it? That's what I did wrong. Let me just check that that's right. If it's right, we should have this little bit here. No. No, they're in a different place. What have I done wrong there? Answers on a postcard. That starts from there, which is opposite that, and that starts from there. I've made a mistake somewhere in here. That starts from there. So that follows that line down. Hmm. They start under each other on this. On this one. Yeah, they start under each other. What's happened here? What have I done? That's made this different. That's there. This jet is on the same as that prism. That jet is on that there. Okay. i tell you what I've done. I've put this in the wrong place. Is all it is, I think. Oops. There we go. 
I think that's all it is. I just put those in too far ahead. Yeah. Okay, that's more like it. Now then. That's looking right. Okay, I've got plenty of these. How many do these come out? That comes out two. And it comes out from the one below it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about this. Okay, so you're going to go on there. And again, it's just the order of placement uh, to get that in there. And then we're going to have this guy. And he's going to come out so it looks like there's two of those from this side. So that means there's going to be four of them. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay. That goes like that. And then I believe... What I did was stuck. One, two. Oh, that lens flare really doesn't help, does it? But that's not right. It's off this block. So we should have a set like that coming out. None of these left. <coughs> Shocking. I'll just buy one of those. Here you go there. You go there, and then we round this off. Like that. Now, I believe that is correct. Let's just check. Yep, indeed it is. Okay. So, what radar is this? Special. Right, I've only got an L1. So, if we take you off there, it's an L2. So, I need to buy an L2 radar. Chuck him in there. Um, while we're at it, I'm also going to need a jammer. Okay, let's just check and see. I haven't got any jammers. So, get rid of you. That's an L3 jammer. And it goes just on the first block back from this section with the guns on it. Okay, so I need to buy a three. And that goes just there. Okay. Now we're going to need to throw some wings on here. 
And these are just the ones. Okay, and we're nearly done. All that we've got left to do is to throw in the extra bits of armour. And this is just to fortify the tail section a little bit. So, we start off on this one with a down, and then another down. Okay, so, let's go. Add some little teeth onto our tail section. Um, oh, I should have just picked it from somewhere else. We're going to need more of these. Okay, so this one down and oh, that one's already on. Yeah. So, have another one like that. I think that's correct. Let me just get to there so we can see what that looks like compared to the other one. Yep. That's those two done. And then we just have the same, I think we're just doing the same and, and tripping them around. Okay. So. Is that one like that? I don't think that one was like that. Oh, am I going to have to look again? I think we had them like this. I think that's how they went. Okay, so if we look up from the back, it should be like that. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, well, I think that's done. I don't think there's anything missing from there. We've got the radar dish, we've got the jammer, we've got the jets, we've got the weapons, we've got the pilot seat. We have the technology. And there you go, Tay. Um, your very own Midge Mark V. That's how you put one together. Um, I hope you can follow along those steps. Let's just make sure it flies. Okay, so I'm pushing forwards, and not much is going to happen. I'm going to need to press space to get it up in the air, but I can take my finger off space. It'll start to drop again. Hit the space to bring it up. And uh, if I want to level it out, it'll either do it in its own sweet time, or I can use shift, dive very quickly. Um, barrel rolls rather nicely. Moves around. Uh, that's the one thing I like about this. You know, if somebody's trying to splash you with plasma... Now, don't do that with it. If you do that with it, chances are you might be out of luck. But, you know, you've got weapons on both sides. You can still shoot a fair bit. So, be aware uh, when you're flying it. Try not to fly it so it's ended up facing with the jets facing towards a wall. That will get you stuck. Let's just throw it back into practice mode.
Okay, yep. Yeah. So, you don't want to park it in front of a wall, because you only have forward-facing jets on this. And, um, it will get you stuck. But, if you have wings and stuff blown off, uh, which hopefully you won't because of the way the armour is, um, but, if you lose a wing and start doing all of this business, if you bring yourself down and turn away from a rock, you can kind of just, it's got enough thrust to just kind of go along the floor and it doesn't matter whether it's upside down or not. Now, I believe with this craft, because the jets are on the top, if you land it upside down, I don't think you can take back off um, and get it. Whoa, no, not in front of a rock. If you're in front of a rock, you can probably use it to give you a hand. But, I don't think you can do the shift trick. No, it won't lift if you're just going forward and using shift. So what you have to do is find a nice rock friend and hope that you can somehow manage to turn it up the right way and just kind of wheeled around. Unfortunately, you know, it gets stuck, it gets stuck. That's my disclaimer for this build. So, don't get it stuck. Keep it in the air. Um, avoid getting hit by all costs. It's very maneuverable. So, Let's just try and get this guy into battle. This will probably be awful, but never mind. Wow, I really would have thought there'd be more uh, T4s on at the moment. Come on, get us into battle. And of course, if you're taking your flyer out, you really want to know your flyer tactics. Um, this guy, he can strafe ground units, but you're going to increase the chance of being taken out. Um, so, save strafing ground units till there is an enemy that's, say, being closed on by two or three of your guys. You know, one that's heavily engaged, so it's not going to have too much time to shoot up at you. Or go around picking up the scraps at the bottom. Also, especially if you're the only flyer on your team, try not to fly straight in. You will be just taken out quickly because you'll have everybody's attention on you. So, we've got a couple of flyers with us on this team, which is nice. So, I'm not the only thing in the sky. I'm going to take off. And I'm going to head to the back, and I'm going to circle around a little bit. And see if I can see what's going on. Get the level land. Now, we've got flyers going in this way. And generally, what you'll find is your flyers will tend to be either plasma or um, little rail blimp things. Now, you can see there, there's a guy... Um, railing so if you fly erratically if you see that red line going for, for you start flying erratically there you go there's a guy going for me try not to uh, stay still now I'm looking for any air units that I might be able to take out first because I'm sort of in an air support role to stop my plasma guys being taken out by other SMG flyers And, you know, try to avoid flying in straight lines. If you fly in a straight line, railgun guys will be able to track you that much more easily. Okay, let's come out from behind this cover. We've got a guy, load of guys there to watch out for. Oh, and I'm getting lag, which isn't really helping me. There's a railgun guy aiming there, so, oop, try and avoid this. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Let's try and get away from that and use these rocks as cover. Maybe come back around for another pass. Oh, there's a load of enemy up over there. Yep, railgun guy's on me, so try not to fly in a straight line. 
And hopefully he won't be able to uh, get a shot on me. Come up, and then I'm just going to dip straight over here. Hopefully his attention's elsewhere. Oh, it looks like we've taken rather a lot of things. Enemy has got us. Use these rocks for cover. Quite agile, so, you know, don't be afraid of getting in low if you've got plenty of cover. Let's get back out of there. There's too many enemy. Oh, it looks like we've lost so many people now. I'm going to get scoped by the rail guy, but, you know, might as well try and do some help. Railgun guy there's taking me. Never mind. And I'm dead. But hopefully, you know, you won't be under the pressure of making a video. And uh, you'll get a bit of practice with him. And hopefully um, your team will be doing a bit better. So you can go around and pick things out. And hopefully you'll get a game where there's... Um, plenty of guys in the sky to shoot. I don't think that enemy team had any flyers. Or at least if they did, they kept out of my way. That's the only problem you've got with this guy. You know, if there's nothing in the skies for you to take out, um, you may be forced into engaging ground units. Um... And if you do that, you've got to kind of be flying him really well. You've got to pick your your um, your targets well. Try not to go in where there's too many enemies. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. That's the uh, the Midge Mark V. And that's a special one made just for Tay to show him how it's done. Now, I'm not sure if you've seen this. Um... This was where the Rover Mark I was, and the Rover Mark I has been deleted and replaced with Hive Mind. And this is just a little bit of fun. Um, he's certainly more effective than uh, the Rover was. Uh, this guy's in T2. Um, let's just see if we can get a quick battle with him. He's a little bit fun, uh, just a kind of insectoid looking thing. Um, Having some fun with hovers. Haven't really had a hover plasma tank before. And what's nice is this guy can go and... Whoa, let's get up. Let's go and get up here. He can negotiate his way up here if he wants to. Good stuff. That's a bit off. bit off as well. Got to get used to aiming plasmas from up here. Okay, let's wander on around. See if we can get a better look at somebody. Oh, oh, they're at our base. Let's duck back around. Try and cover our base a bit. Oh, <laughs> this is the problem with coming up here. If your team wipes, uh, you're not really going to be able to do much. I probably should have just taken him along the ground and tried to help out the team a bit more. Um, there's a railgun guy there, so he's going to scope me any second now. Missed. Missed everyone. Yeah, this railgun guy is going to get me as soon as I turn up there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And team defeated. So, he's not brilliant, but it's just a bit of fun. Um, I like to have been 
trying to make some bit more creative builds in the T1 and T2 just because um, it, they're cheap to get out and they get into a battle fast um, and I'm just kind of making these things you know um, so I've got an idea for designs to then scale up you know this guy will be a lot better if he's uh, meatier and bigger and maybe in T10 in all black armor and with massive massive plasmas obviously he'd have to be a bit larger but that's just a little bit of fun I've been having um, I decided the Rover Mark 1, while it was fun for a little bit, um, you know, it wasn't anything near a, a decent build, so I just scrapped it to have a little play with that. Don't think I've got anything else um, interesting. Oh, I've made this. Now, this is just testing um, armor design. Um, it's just a, a hollow grid. And then if you look on the inside, you can see a lot of these are actually prisms rather than cubes. And it's testing the armor. Let's see if we have a look down here. You can see that um, these two blocks, take that jet out, these two blocks are prisms. And there's a lot of prisms around. They might look like squares from the outside, but they're prisms in there. And the idea with that is that the... Um, weapon penetration is limited um, so this block here doesn't connect with the block below it or the block to either side of it it just connects with this block so anything that hits this block it only can only travel one down and not to the frame unless it comes all the way down the solid blocks around there um, so while this might not be a brilliant um, T1 I mean, realistically speaking, the wheel should have been tucked inside there, but I couldn't fit it in with the build and those guns. This was really me just testing the theory behind that armor. And if you watch now as I get destroyed, what you should see is that my armor breaks off in quite small chunks rather than huge wedges of my craft disappearing in one go. And this is something I need to be getting used to and practicing for... Uh, when I build my T10 flatbeds, when I've got enough RP and when I've got enough CPU, I will of course be going for some kind of uh, gigantic flatbed monster of some sort. And so, it's with little crafts like this, and as you saw on the Midge Mark V, the additional armour uh, placement, trying to cram on armour wherever I can with prisms and tetras. Now, I don't know how he'll stand up to T2s, because uh, obviously they'll have probably better weapons and better armor. Um, but what you should be able to see is how effective uh, this kind of armor is. Now, I'm just going to end up running in. I, I, I'm not trying to win or anything. All I'm trying to do is get shot so you can see how the armor blows up. Um... But yeah, this is quite an effective technique for reducing the chance of, you know, just the one-shot kind of death. Um, because if that, if anything hits you and it channels all the way in to, um, to your seat, to your pilot seat, and you lose the blocks under there, you will just die. Yeah, see, so he's losing a couple of blocks at a time, rather than having the whole thing blown apart. <laughs> that was a bit fast. Maybe if I don't rush in, maybe, <laughs> maybe if I actually try and play, uh, you'll actually get to see what I mean a bit better. Okay, so this this time I'll take it a bit more seriously. And I'll be a little bit more cautious and hopefully you should see when I get shot um, just small sections come off rather than massive chunks. And it just gives me a bit longer in the game to deal some damage, get some points and hopefully stick around for the uh, the victory. Okay, so I won't jet off on my own. I'll see where these guys are going. Let all of the T2s get out ahead of me.
Now I can see there's a railgun guy somewhere over there. Can't quite see him. Oh, he seems to have had a bit of trouble. Plasma moving in that way. Let's see, I've got guys ahead of me down here, so not on my own. Oops. Oh, they're capping already. <laughs> oh well. Being cautious, looks like it's uh, just not got me hit at all. Maybe uh, an enemy will come now that we're all on our base. Just wondering if there's enough of us here. Yes, there's something shooting at us. What was shooting at us? Is it a little flyer? Don't think I'd have time to rush down to the end. Looks like we've taken them off the base anyway. Oh well, <laughs> there you go, I uh, didn't get you to show you the armour, armour really crumpling, you'll just have to take my word on it, it's an effective method for placing armour blocks, so, you know, give it a go if you're not already using the technique. Right, well, electroplating should be coming out today, um, so I'd quite like to get 4 million RP before that comes out. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that's useful for you, Tay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, yep, so I'll finish this and I will post it up. And then as soon as electroplating comes out, I'll be getting a video out to you guys to show you um, unlocking all of that stuff and all the fun goodies that can be had with electroplate armor. So, in the meantime, those of you that are that way inclined, go and build yourself a Midge Mark V, you know. By all means, it's not perfect, so improve on the design, play with it yourself, um, get to grips with how it flies in the practice, you know, so you don't just take it out straight into battle and crash it into a wall and get stuck there. Um, get used to hunting for um, targets in the skies, and uh, have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.